you a sad song. You're giving me goosebumps. But it's so, <laughs> it, it, it's a sad song, but I think it's, it's one of the most beautiful songs and the most, most Puerto Rican thing you'll ever hear. Well, so. you guys, let's <laughs> encourage her, guys. Go, Stephanie. In mi viejo San Juan, cuantos sueños por qué? In mis noches de infancia. Mi primera ilusión y mis cuitas de amor son recuerdos del alma. Una tarde me fui hacia extraña nación, pues no quiso el destino. Pero mi corazón se quedó frente al mar en mi viejo San Juan. Very beautiful, very beautiful. Thank you, ladies, thank you, ladies, and welcome back to the Philippines. Do you have any more questions from, from our friends? Hi, I'm yeah. Daniel Gray from Project Temple Organization. Hi, Bessie. Hi, Arnold. Hi, everyone. Um, I have a question for Manusha and uh, Stephanie. Um, can you share your best experience uh, during your reign, and can you uh, tell what have you have learned from it? Um, it's very difficult to point out at one experience because I've had so many best experiences. Because every time I go to a country, I tell myself, oh my god, this is the best experience ever. <laughs> but uh, what I'm really happy is that this year we could travel to so many countries, we could travel to every continent. And I got to see so many different kinds of people across the world. So um, I think my best experience is this whole year. I have never learned so much in such a short span of time. I've never met so many people, traveled on my, uh, traveled so much. And as an experience, I can't tell you one, I'm sorry, but as an experience, this has been the best experience of my life. Um, I feel like I'm a part of a much bigger family now. And it's, it's changed me. Thank you. She uh, just kind of took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> Um, just when you're in this world, you are exposed to so many things that you never thought you could ever see. Um, just like what I experienced here, and, and, and so many other things. And I think one of the, my most favorite things uh, that I've been able to live has been sharing this year with Manushi, and especially the part where we moved the continental winners, because as you'll be able to see in the documentary and be able to completely understand the work that we do, we travel to every single continent and work with the local Miss World organization and change the lives of all these people. And honestly, I can't wait to you guys see the, the series because, like I said, you will finally be able to fully understand the work that Miss World and Meeting with a Purpose does, what they hear in the light of Miss World is. And you will be able to agree with us that it's really, really difficult to, <laughs> to pick what has been the most favorite and the most uh, impactful. So, yeah. But um, I'd like to add something that uh, what the world usually sees is one day in the entire year when you see the pageant. But the other 364 days is what actually this world is about. Thank you. Any more final questions? Yes. My question is for our Queen's Miss uh, and Stephanie. Uh, earlier we talked about transgender women joining uh, the pageants or Miss World, which is a controversial issue. Uh, my question is, when answering uh, controversial questions like this, be it in Q&A portions or media interviews, is it better to give a safe answer that makes the majority happy or just be honest about it? Even if that means offending some, if not many. Whenever you have the opportunity to speak, whether it be a controversial or just a, a, a regular subject, the most important thing to do is to speak from the heart and to always say what you believe. And if in a controversial topic situation, uh, what you have to do is you speak your mind, but you do it in the most respectful way possible. 
So I think that's, that's, that's just what you always have to think about when it comes to answering a question uh, of a controversial subject. So. Mm -hmm. um, I feel that when you answer a question, what is most important is honesty. You have to be honest with people, and people will understand. But also, when you are at a passion such as this world, you are competing to represent, to be able to work with the entire world. You cannot exclude a community. You, should, you have to make everyone feel like they are included and they are part of the family. Thank you, Conan. And if there are no more questions, we'd like to formally wrap up our question and answer portion. Now, may we ask our special guests to please stand up so we can take some posterity shots. Sorry. Why are you doing it? Stay in the middle. 